Hello guys, this is Sam. Welcome to my channel. I'm playing Starfield. So we were going for a job interview, right? struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators, the Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city seemingly out of nowhere on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport, sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. All four of my last science papers have been on terramorphs. I really hope One this is just One of my slates is that terramorphs can control people's minds. But that can't be true. This thing's like an artist's rendition, right? No animal can be this ugly in real life. Oh, they can be, man. You don't know the half of it. Brought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand, that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colonies senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as they Victus. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close, and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. There are more slides here, man. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. An official branch of the UC Navy, the Vanguard is the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet, serving a myriad of security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. Open to all captains, regardless of origin, the Vanguard is leading the charge to protect and support the citizens of the United Colonies, wherever in the galaxy they may be. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls mean citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to 
purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the most beautiful cities in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, you too can begin earning your place here, in the heart of galactic civilization, as a citizen of the United Colonies. Simulations just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. You must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. While I can't answer that question directly, I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. You're permitted, even encouraged to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B Deimos hoplite, the United Colony's standard destroyer model. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. Vanguard assignments can often include both space and ground combat. It'd be bad for both you and the United Colonies to not ensure you're adept in both capacities before sending you out on your first real assignment. Of course, you'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC Science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that, and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. All right then. Let's do this, man. Hi, I'm going to do this again. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Our exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant.
tier one enemy, second tier two enemy, third tier maybe three enemies, three ships. I guess. That was fun. Not restarting. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. I know that. Let's go to Commander Tuwala's office. your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? You did, but your exam score and how you got there factor into how long you're going to have to serve to get your citizenship. So, you ready to review it? I like the fire applicant. Let's get into it. So, looking at the data, Checked out a few of the murals. Good. 
A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. The Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? All right, clear tier three. We try to set a high bar. That's no small feat. Nice work. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. 10 years? Better than your average lab rat or diplomat, but pretty standard for folks going out into combat. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. <clears throat> First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? You're not in the Freestar Collective here. Vanguard keeps his work above board. If you want in, you have to do the same as everyone else. And that starts with guilt. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Did I just do the wrong thing? I should have uh, met that king. I have seen the mission here, right? Rook meets king. I don't get exposed as a vanguard member when I go to meet the king. Couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard? Honor. Loyalty, self-reliance, in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is... Comms repair. <clears throat> Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau City 2 count on you? Oh, that's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. They'll get you the repair suite, plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. We got 38,000, credits. So we are going down. Long way down. Yeah, for me.
Probationary then? Crew Chief Hera, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean. No known hostile outposts. Well, I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. I thought this was my ship, but this was not my ship. That's my ship.
let's land here systems. I wonder what happened here. Anything useful and just leave the rest. I got a DG pick from that guy. Frankenstein. 
style uh, don't tell me that this will be considered as contraband and I would be forced to pay for this stuff I'm taking out I'm heavy infantry and I've come to bring you the gift of ordinance. I wouldn't mind in the least. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. Was? I, I Look came at here her on eyes. a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machin, a terramorph, one of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly, possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. Other than a remorseless killing machine. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart, and their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock, or toys. They're creatures without fear. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. And there were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Restore the security system. thing will attack me from can be anywhere look at how this guy kills
are the searching for stuff you can take? What the fuck are these vials? Status of line positive control in the system reboot. Came with the reach last time Maria was up, so she took a couple of shots at them to the now. KTS one and all the trust delivered long last long so it's unknown. Last time we took it a whole lot better. Class is T rewiring starts today. Land some technical materials. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. Wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the terramorph is. I need to throw some things down like um, how to drop drop and drop. Seeing a unit to one eighty three point five inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to become a Once they're online, 
nearby, lead the Terramorph towards the lights, and watch the fireworks. Give it hell, Vanguard.
I did not do any other things she told us to do. I just killed that fucking monster barehanded with arms, not barehanded with bullets. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or. Wait. You did it, didn't you? Evans of Bob, you just flatlined a terror morph! That's me. <laughs> yeah, taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. If you do the other uh, things she told uh, to do, it may be like uh, you waste less bullets than me, but I don't care. That guy attacked me, that guy hurled at me, that guy roared at me, that thing, but not that guy. So I was like pissed off. That's why I said, oh my, I'm not killing you the way she just cut, I'm killing you the way I am supposed to kill you or I will kill you like this. That's what I thought and that's what I did. a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, last off, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world. Seventy to a hundred years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Tell Seti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully impossible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop out of the hospital for a little bit. Clear with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. 
My gene tech. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was, a long time ago, family tradition. She was a Vanguard But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, oh, she was in UC security. That's all I'm asking. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia, a bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here, it's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. We got 1800. Let's return to our ship. I hope no one attacks us when we are out. I know I could have explored more, but we can explore afterwards too. It's in, uh, we are not in a hurry. We are in a hurry now, but well, we can do exploration afterwards. Just doing some basic shit here. Okay, it's almost time also, so we got back to our base, talk to the commander, sell some things, unload some uh, shit over my shoulder and relax a little bit. We'll meet her in that bar. to another galaxy that is Alpha Century. Okay. 
direct landing Concealment skill offers a variety of stealth related benefits. Painful memories or not, it's good to be home. Oh, I have so many things. It's weighing me down. I need to unload some things. I think I found a place where we can sell our items. I don't know if it will uh, be detected as contraband, but still I have to try it. Right? Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Gene tag. Let me see that. Hmm. Sanar. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of accommodations. Seems like she served with distinction as co head of a UC Xeno weapons division. Faced tribunal at the end of the colony war was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's for more Xeno warfare, though, well, I can at least be sure she knows her aliens. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume. But considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? Choose. Confirm it's a threat. Um. I. I see. Well, this is one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. But if Hadrian Sanon thinks this sample needs to get to Mars, then we're gonna make sure it gets to Mars. I'll take care of the clearances and ensure you get your credits. Consider these your first official orders. And here. So everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. Okay, we got some uh, 
Good things. And we're going to the we have to go to the shipyard right? So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with more exciting videos until then. Stay tuned and have a good day. Uh, let me just check one thing you though. Expecting me to jump down after you. No, I'm not expecting you. Uh, I will just find a place where I can sell my excess stuff. And then we go for the mission in the next one. So seeing I see you guys. Have a good day. Take care. See you soon.